we're at home at that home at, at home yeah and they have their inflatables up now i do not remember a display like this from last year so now look the prices of these and then they have more these are like the smaller more affordable things The Hocus Pocus one's really cute. A fun spider. Looks like they're still missing some. They also have a turkey. So, let's go back. We're going to look around. See if any of these do anything. There's those ghosts. $45, not bad for that size. Gather round, sisters. Now, I feel like this is going to... Oh, push the button. I'd turn back if I were you. <laughs> this is... Do you not fear the Reaper? You should. <laughs> <laughs> At last, you are here. Come right this way. I have so many souls to take. Your soul is next. I smell the stench of rotting souls. You look like you've seen a ghost. So some really cute things and scary. Okay. I'll be right back with this. This is breakable, like ceramic coffin. <laughs> this is heavy. Five dollars. It's cute. I wonder if they're gonna have like graveyard stuff. That'll be exciting to see. I don't come here that often because it's not really close for me. This is fun. Look at that. Lights up seventeen dollars. I don't know. Seventeen dollars seems like a bit. Way over there. Oh. We have the Oh, so this is kind of like the cracker barrel ghost. But much smaller. I don't think it has batteries in it. No. Looks like it'll take triple or double A batteries. I wonder how that looks lit up. $30 is, is kind of pricey in my opinion. That is a fun bow. They have headstones that light up. Oh, and make noise. So that's $40, and then that thing, which is not even a foot tall, is $30. Not only do they have their some of their Halloween stuff, but they also have skeletons sitting at desks and stuff. And then they have some displays back there that we're going to look at. Oh, see, now this is what I was hoping for the last time I came. I guess I was too early. <sighs> Look how fun. He's peeking out. That's really cute. These are really heavy. I don't know that they're meant for hanging up. I guess they are, but I don't know. They're like ceramic. This is Cool. Yeah, plastic cauldrons for six dollars. 
This is a thicker, like, plastic. And they have the, these from the pictures last time. Little figures. Big giant jack-o'-lanterns. Zero and Jack. Pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. I don't, I don't know if these are the kind you can carve. Doesn't say. Different colors, and then summer decorations. <laughs> That's a huge welcome mat. Twenty nine ninety nine. They have a couple of those really big ones. So if you have a huge front porch, this is for you. Thirty dollars. What? I am sure that I would trip over this. It's cute because it's like a. It changes. Oh, my husband's gonna help us, guys. Oh, that's cute. So it changes as depending on how you look at it. <laughs> that's why. No costume, no candy. So they have quite a few different ones. I like this cat face. Very cute. A Ouija board. No. Yeah, Ouija board. Boo. Boo. I like these because they have some scary ones and some cute ones. Welcome to our coven. This is more like fall dishes. And then they have white versions. <laughs> I'm just here for the pie. As long as it's not pumpkin or sweet potato, I'll be fine. <laughs> um, I don't think they sold as much uh, summer stuff as they thought they were going to <laughs> because they have the start of the fall and Halloween sections. Um, but they still have summer stuff on the aisles as well. So it's kind of like mixed together. That's two ninety nine. It's cute. We have more metal signs now. These are fall. Of course, you can use them for Halloween and Thanksgiving time. Oh my gourd! I love fall. <laughs> That's cute. Now, this is pretty. My oldest daughter would really like this. Why doesn't it light up? I forgot a lot of the stuff doesn't have batteries in it here. These are cute. So these are more manageable than the picture frame ones that are breakable and ceramic. And they're only $3. Musical ghost lights. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god, they're projectors too. Inside. Those are really cute. I don't think $23 is too bad of a price. And these pumpkins are cute. Alright, we're going to go back over here. A closer look at these. We saw them last time, but they were higher up. The gnome ones. And here's some spooky stuff. Like a witch. She just lights up. You could totally make something like this. Now, I tried to make some of the ghosts last year. It didn't work out very well for me. Pocus Pocus Company, which is wanted apply within. <laughs> That's funny. So cute. Dead Ranch. Happy Haunting. That's a huge porch sign. $30. Please park your broom at the door. That's cute. Alright, and they have wreaths. Fall wreaths. 
so I think we probably saw these last time, at least a good portion of them. This is $10. That's not too bad. You could make a smaller version of that, like um, from Dollar Tree stuff, though. This is not fall. I thought it was because of the color. I feel like it could be. They have Sally and Oogie Boogie only in these little, they light up some mugs. It sounds like a kid is afraid of something or just sad in general. Of course, glass pumpkins, uh, chip and dip witch hat, very adorable. Oh, it looks like they have the end caps spread out quite a bit. <laughs> now, I don't remember seeing this turtle skeleton. <laughs> That's really funny. I love how they can stack on top of each other. $7. That's not too bad. Ooh, look at the spider. Awesome. Here's a flying monkey skeleton. Okay, I just thought that I was recording for a huge section, and I wasn't, so I'm disappointed. But this glows in the dark. That's really fun, but it's $7. So they still have all these potion jars and bottles. Aw, that's a kitty. Our dog. Don't hex my vibe. That's cute. These are cute. All right, so here we go again. <laughs> so I really like these. These are really different than what they have at Home Goods. I just like the the. They're ten dollars. Not necessarily like that, but I like that they're like the shape of a pumpkin, rather than just a tall lantern. Oh, and they have more of these. This is what I meant to do. I went to take a picture of these and <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not recording. So this is cute. Now they have some laboratory type stuff and so they've got a brain on a stick that's $20, guys. Isn't that crazy? That's so expensive. They have a brain and a pumpkin. I feel like this is like from the pumpkin carving contest they have on Food Network, like one of the things they would make on there. And then this guy is really cool. They have some glass pumpkins with witch hats, which are pretty. And then look at that. That's really fun. And this typewriter with the rats. That say, I don't know if a person typed help or it was the skeleton rats that typed help, but it's still fun. Now, this is what I saw. And I was like, this is so pretty. It's $35. It's like a candy dish. And it's pretty heavy. I really like it, but it's $35. Okay, the last section to look at is this skeleton section. They have this guy. It's like a partial of the other ghosty. It's $10. This is $40. And they have some other tombstones. I really like this gargoyle. Seven dollars. That's cool. Now this is like the one from Cracker Barrel, except for it doesn't do anything. It's only ten dollars, but makes no noise. You think she's just as expensive as the guy? Yep. This is twenty-seven ninety-nine. I don't know. This is sixteen dollars, and they're pretty lightweight. I don't know. The ones from Home Goods are prettier by a lot. I don't know how much those ones are though. This is cool. Twenty dollars, and I like this skull. 
They have a ton of those gargoyles, so <laughs> don't worry. So this is kind of creepy and spooky in a good way, I think. I feel like there's a amazing candlesticks everywhere. $22. That's not too bad. You could also put the Dollar Tree um, taper candles, the battery operated ones in there. She's spooky. $70. I guess her eyes light up. She doesn't have a tester though. Now, this is $130. It is huge. Oh, there's glow in the dark skeletons for $55. They're just plastic. But they go with the, I guess, the skull that glows in the dark, which was $7, which I thought was kind of pricey. Look at those metal bats. Those are cute. Okay, back to over here. Wow, $130 for this giant gargoyle. Several feet tall. Oversized, just a little. I don't know if it says... No, it doesn't say how big it is. Oh, these are wreath hangers. Those are nice. They're like wrought iron. They have just chained up arm hands. Ooh, this is big too. Also oversized. <laughs> so this giant skeleton, they're trying to get on in on uh, Home Depot's uh, game, I guess, two hundred and eighty dollars. And then, I guess that arch is sixty dollars. Oh, they have mummy or zombie hands. Halloween mummy hand groundbreaker, ten dollars. Oh, come on. How adorable is this? $35, though. It's a skeleton teddy bear. So cute. And they have a whole little graveyard set up. 